Hello everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today, we will talk about Benjamin Banneker, the inventor of the clock. Banneker was a self-taught African-American astronomer, mathematician, and surveyor who was best known for inventing a clock in 1753. He was a remarkable man who overcame great challenges to achieve great things. In this video, we will learn about Banneker's early life, his education, his invention of the clock, and his other accomplishments. We will also explore his legacy as a pioneer in African-American science and mathematics. Let's start. Early Life Benjamin Banneker was born on November 9, 1731, in Baltimore County, Maryland. He was the son of Robert Banneker, a free African-American farmer, and Mary Banneker, a white woman of English and African descent. Banneker's parents owned a 100-acre farm, and he spent his childhood working on the farm and learning about nature. Banneker was largely self-taught. He learned to read and write at a young age, and he also studied mathematics, astronomy, and surveying. He was also a skilled farmer and inventor. Banneker's early life was shaped by the challenges of living in a slave society. Despite being free, Banneker faced discrimination and prejudice. He was not allowed to attend public schools, and he had to learn everything he knew from books and through his own observations. Despite these challenges, Banneker was determined to learn and grow. He was a curious and intelligent child, and he was always eager to learn new things. He spent his days working on the farm, and his nights reading and studying. Banneker's early life was also marked by his love of nature. He spent hours exploring the woods and fields around his home. He observed the plants and animals, and he learned about the natural world. This love of nature would later inspire his work in astronomy and mathematics. Education Benjamin Banneker was largely self-taught. He learned to read and write at a young age, and he also studied mathematics, astronomy, and surveying. He was also a skilled farmer and inventor. Banneker's early education was limited. He was not allowed to attend public schools because he was African-American. However, he was able to learn to read and write from his grandmother, Molly Welsh. Welsh was a former indentured servant who had been taught to read and write by her master. Once Banneker had learned to read and write, he began to study mathematics and astronomy on his own. He borrowed books from local libraries and from friends and neighbors. He also taught himself how to use a telescope. Banneker's education was also influenced by his work as a farmer. He learned about the natural world through his observations of the plants and animals on his farm. He also learned about surveying and mathematics by helping his father survey land. Banneker's education was essential to his success as a scientist and inventor. He was able to use his knowledge of mathematics and astronomy to make important contributions to these fields. He was also able to use his knowledge of farming and surveying to solve practical problems. Invention of the Clock Benjamin Banneker is best known for inventing a clock entirely out of wood in 1753. He was inspired to build the clock. After seeing a pocket watch that belonged to a wealthy acquaintance, Banneker took the watch apart to study its components, and then he carved wooden replicas of the components and assembled them into a working clock. Banneker's clock was a marvel of engineering. It was accurate to within a minute per day, and it kept time for over 50 years. The clock was a testament to Banneker's skill and ingenuity, and it helped to establish his reputation as a talented inventor. The invention of the clock was a significant achievement for Banneker. It was a complex task that required a deep understanding of mathematics and mechanics. Banneker's success in building the clock showed that he was a self-taught genius. The invention of the clock was also a symbol of Banneker's resilience and determination. He lived in a time when African Americans were denied many basic rights, but he was able to overcome these challenges and achieve great things. Banneker's clock is a reminder that anyone can achieve their dreams, regardless of their circumstances. He is an inspiration to us all. Other Accomplishments Banneker's accomplishments are even more remarkable, considering the challenges he faced as an African-American man living in the 18th century. He was denied many basic rights, including the right to attend public school and the right to vote. However, he persevered and achieved great things. Banneker's work in astronomy and mathematics was particularly notable. He was able to use these fields to solve practical problems, such as calculating eclipses and predicting the tides. His almanac was a valuable tool for farmers and sailors, 
and it helped them to plan their activities. Banneker's work as a surveyor was also important. He helped to survey the land for the District of Columbia, the capital of the United States. This was a complex and challenging task, but Banneker was able to complete it successfully. Banneker was also a strong advocate for abolition and equality. He corresponded with Thomas Jefferson and other prominent Americans about the evils of slavery and the importance of education for all people. Banneker's work helped to promote the abolitionist cause and to advance the cause of equality for African Americans. Legacy Banneker's legacy is also reflected in the many honors and awards that have been bestowed upon him. He has been featured on postage stamps, and his name has been given to schools, streets, and parks. He has also been inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame and the Maryland Hall of Fame. Banneker's legacy is a reminder that anything is possible if we set our minds to it. He was a self-taught man who overcame great challenges to achieve great things. He is an inspiration to all of us. I hope you learned something new about Benjamin Banneker today. If you did, please do like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos on black history and culture. And remember, anything is possible if we set our minds to it. So don't give up on your dreams, no matter what challenges you face. Thanks for watching.